Let's plot the lab one data now. So if we're running the uh, serial plotter application, we can download it to our uh, Itsy Bitsy and it will eventually start uh, displaying some data. Now, if we check the serial monitor, this is the kind of uh, data that we see. And if I shade the, uh, the photo cell, the numbers go up and then they go back down. If I wave my hand back and forth across it, I see some variation in the data. If I push the button, it goes from 200 down to 100. And the fourth column here is just alternating back and forth every time the little red light blinks on and off. It's counting up in seconds over here. So if I want to get some of this data, I'll stop it. Command A selects all of it. Command C copies it. And if I go to a spreadsheet, like an Excel sheet, uh, I'll have a new file. Command V will paste it all in. I'll get rid of the top few rows. And I'll save that as a CSV. So in my courses, MEC 217, and I will save it as a comma separated value file, and I'll call it lab01. 2020 CSV. So now I've saved that file. If I go out and have a look in Jupyter Notebooks, if I go to uh, MEC 217, Content, Lab Solution Code and Data, where I saved it, now I can see, I hope, that CSV data. Lab 1 2020 CSV is there. And it's just got a whole lot of comma separated value data in it. So if I go back out to that, I can create a new Python 3 file. So we're gonna, and I'll save it in the same folder along with the data file. And then I'm going to need to get some stuff from my course notes under Python learning sequence. I want to get this pandas code so that I can uh, import some data. So there's some libraries I'm going to need to load. And I'll run that, it'll load the libraries. What else do I need? I need to read in the CSV file as a data frame. But I need to give it the name that I gave it here and it was lab01 uh, data, oh no, 2020 I think. And sure enough, there's some of my data loaded in as a data frame. Going back to the example, I'm going to convert it into a NumPy array. And then run that, and there's my Data, it's not a data frame anymore. It's a NumPy array. And then I'm going to do a plot. So this will plot, well, this would have plotted column one and column four. But remember, we count columns starting with zero. So the time here is in column zero. 
and the photocell data is in column 0, 1, 2. So if I plot that, there's some output showing the photocell data that I had. That's good. If I wanted to plot uh, all three of the columns, I could also plot one, two, and three. Well, it looks like column three isn't very interesting. Uh, I know that it's not going to be very interesting because I remember that this is just switching back and forth between 300 and 500. So let's not plot column three. Now, if I want to dress up my plot, I'm going to have to add some more stuff. So now I can add some captions to the axes and I'll have a pretty credible graph. 